Okay, so what is the Pages app on your iPad? Let's get started. So some people, especially people new to the iPad, may have noticed that there is an application called Pages it already like pre-installed on their iPad out of the box. So what does it do? What's the point of this? And this is basically the Apple's word processing app, which is available for the iPad. You can get it on your Mac and also on the iPhone. So, you know, it is part of the three apps for productivity made by Apple. So, you know, for example, it's easy to compare it to like other software, right? So there, as you know, from Microsoft, we have the Microsoft Word for, you know, typing in the text. And then we have the Microsoft Excel for spreadsheets. And then there is the Microsoft PowerPoint for presentations. And Apple has the equivalent of all of these programs and like software. So Apple has Pages, which is the equivalent to Microsoft Word. Then they have Numbers, which is basically the Excel for spreadsheets. And then also the they have a slideshow app, which is the equivalent to the PowerPoint, which is used to create presentations. So yeah, you can use it on your Apple devices for free if you have deleted it by any means you can always just re-download it back from the app store so that's pretty simple it's freely available as mentioned and yeah using this application you can basically just type in your regular tags using a keyboard or you know using just the screen and just perform all of the changes and formatting as if you would normally do on a computer or if you are working with documents i made a lot of different tutorials on how you can use this specific app so you can go ahead and check those out on this channel. I'm showing you how you can export the documents, format the text, highlight it, and, you know, insert drawings and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you want to subscribe to this channel or check out the videos I already made about this particular application, in which, you know, you will find useful once you get to know it a little bit more. So that's everything I wanted to say in this video. I honestly hope that you found this video useful. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, but that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one.